What's going on, y'all? It's Chemistry 11 here. Um, just wanted to share a little something. Um, you all know about the the asteroid that that came through. It was pretty close patch between a planet and the moon. Probably the second or third one to do so. Um, that's definitely a cause concern for concern. Um, and considering how everything is going on here on Earth, and it just takes me back to that that axiom: as above, so below; as below, so above. And um, I was uh, leaving Saginaw, Michigan. It was like four something in the morning, maybe five something. And I saw a, a, the, one of the, a meteorite streak across the sky. It was burning white hot, you know, straight through the atmosphere. And uh, you know, it went on for like five seconds, and then it petered out. And um, it was a real eye opener. You know, I was amazed. I was, you know, happy to see it because you just don't see things like that all the time. But it also let me know how close that thing was. And things are uh, not as in order, as I say. You know, it's a changing order, so things are changing in the heavens. And we all see what's going on here on Earth with tsunamis and earthquakes, hurricanes, hailstorms, lightning storms, tornadoes, cyclones and, and typhoons, okay, sinkholes, Hey, whatever, you know, everything is just changing, melting ice caps, I mean, the list just goes on and on and on, and so um, I already, I made an as above, below, so video, uh, maybe a month or two back, I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 16 to just, to, to, to show you just how true that is, okay, and uh, chapter 16, verse 18 through 19, it said, and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on, loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You know, that's not an as above, so below reference that I don't know what is. But as you see, everything that's going on in the heavens, you know, space, whatever you want to, you know, and here on earth, all unstable. But the the last piece is look at humankind, how societies all over the world are shaking up. You know, some people are waking up, some people are cracking up, and it's all just, you know, everything is shifting, okay? I uh, just, you know, my last video I just made um, a few hours ago um, talking about the, the plans, you know, uh, Law of Fives, I don't know why I said I remade that video. You know, it goes into some of that too, but if, you know, everything, the, the instability in the earth itself, the instability in the heavens, and then the instability of humankind, if nothing else proves the oneness and the connectivity, you know, as Jesus said, I and the Father are one, that's just what he meant. But he didn't mean just him, all of us consist of that, 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 that spirit, Holy Ghost, the oneness, the all, all those different things. Okay, and so something has been loosed in the heavens, and it's been loosed in the earth, and now it's playing out through our society. Just you know, it's it's you know, on one end, people are waking up to to just new paradigms of their own psyche and their own inner power and all that, and becoming closer to that spirit, and then other people are going further and further down into the base of natures of themselves, and it's you know reverting into pure madness. All right. And that's how we are all connected to all this. You know, every, every you know, that force of change, instability, shift, whatever, is being played out through all facets of life in parts we can't see and in parts we can see. Do not look at yourself or as humankind look at our society as something apart from everything else. Everything that's going on in society is a part of everything else that's happening on this planet and all the other planets in the universe itself. Okay? So remember that when... When we, when we think about things and when we just say things, you know, it says it's not what comes into a man that defiles him, it's what comes out of them, you know. So think about that. As we put that out there and, and just always thinking about it and, and, and just projecting those thoughts and those energies and things like that, it has a lot to do with the environment you're around. Now, I'm not saying that if you start thinking positive, everybody's just going to fall in line. No. But know that every individual is like a small universe, okay, and 
we all have our own orbits, as they say. You know, everybody say, oh, yeah, my circle and in that circle and in my space. Well, yeah. So we all occupy a space and we all have our own, like, orbit, so to speak. So let's make it a positive one, all right, that at least you'll be one of those people that say, you know, when I'm around you, I feel like I'm at peace. Make people, you know, just help people forget about whatever it is when you talk to them and when they talk to you and they confide in you and all those things. It's very important that we understand our connectedness in all this.